hope you are well and staying safe. Today I will be providing you with all the information you need to know about our Hinkley campus. If you have missed our Nuneaton and Wigston vlogs, don't forget to check them out. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's talk about our Hinkley campus. Home to our creative arts courses, our Hinkley campus has over 650 students. Our exciting Hinkley campus has been purposely built for our creative arts subjects, so you can enjoy the space you need to reflect and practice your skills. Our facilities are the very best in the local area, featuring the high spec industry standard equipment and technology. As the campus is situated in the town centre, you can discover art galleries, such as the Atkins Building, which is situated next door. You have studio spaces around you, creative businesses and alternative venues, which all contribute to the local artistic community. Creative courses are available from level one right through to full BA Hons degrees. We also offer a wide range of training and short courses to support local employers in the creative arts. Our Hinkley campus is located on Lower Bond Street in Hinkley. You can travel to our college via bike, car, train, bus or walking. If you are travelling by car, we have a car park next to the college. The car park is £1 and you can pay at reception. You could also buy an annual pass at reception. If you want to travel via bicycle, we have a secure bike shelter just next to the college near the front entrance where you can leave your bike. We are also a 15 minute walk from the train station. You can find all the train routes via the Trainline app. Just visit www.thetrainline.com. We also have a bus stop just outside the college so you can get a public bus to each campus. Arriva offers a service that stops outside the college. They are every 30 minutes and the ticket zone is zone two or plus. If students are eligible for the bursary, then we can cover the costs of all the above travel, including the annual Arriva Pass normally. But this term, we are giving students eligible for travel a £5 per day travel allowance, as they are generally only in once a day. This will be reviewed termly. For more information on bursaries, please contact us via our live chat system on our website. Now let's move on to the courses available at our campus. We have Art and Design, Fashion and Textiles, Floristry, Games Development, Graphic Design, Higher Education, Interior Design, Journalism, Media, Music, Performing Arts and Photography. Let's take a look at what you can experience when studying a course at Hinkley Campus. And when you work in art and design, you work with a whole multitude of materials that you actually enjoy working with and obviously that can lead to um, a really fulfilling career. Uh, materials that we use, it can be a whole ream of materials from ceramics, we work with glass, hot glass, we do a lot of um, recycling, so we work with recycling materials such as plastic, uh, metals, and the best place to find materials is, you know, go to the tip shop, look at rubbish that people are putting out, and, you know, look in a skip, but always make sure you ask permission first. I chose a BTEC at this subject area because I wanted to be more hands-on and really focus on the fashion that I wanted to do. I didn't want to do three subjects at A-levels because that's not really leading to where I want to be at university. I've definitely gained a lot of confidence outside of college and feel like I can work, I can wear what I want to and be proud of it. My current project is my final major project and that is my collection of three garments and I'm basing it on post-apocalyptic. We have um, specific computers in one of our suites that they use. So um, it allows them to obviously access all the different softwares that they utilise. So they're more powerful PCs because of the fact that the softwares, that they're just the system requirements that are needed. The particular programmes they look at using are like Unreal Engine 4, Autodesk Maya for their 3D modelling. Uh, we talk about like Creative Cloud, like Adobe Photoshop Illustrator when it comes to creating like user interfaces, like menu screens and everything like that. And they're all industry standard softwares. So it's giving them opportunities to learn in software that they are going to need in the future 
We offer our work experience as, as a base that they kind of have to work towards. We try our best to, to look to get them into the industry so they've immediately there got some industry practice with their work experience. The graphic design course here offers all sorts of um, knowledge and facilities. The facilities here are amazing and they are up to the industry standard as well so it allows the students to be aware of what they're going to expect when they go off into the real world. The vocational one that they're studying at the moment doesn't include exams so that can be, bring out the creativity in students. We get more work uh, so by the time they get to go to university with portfolios they have quite a lot of work to show um, in their portfolios. Um, we use drawing boards, initially they do hand drawings with their, uh, to, to start off with scale rulers, drawing boards, then they go on to do Photoshop um, and render them in Photoshop. They make models out of foam board or acrylic, um, so they do model making as well. But within the college as well we do get quite a lot of live, live projects for the students, so if we can get a live project that's all the better for us, because that gives them sort of knowledge of, of the industry standard and what's expected in industry. I chose a BTEC because I'm not very good at exams. Uh, the idea of being assessed purely through coursework was something that really appealed to me and that's something that I excel at, so I thought it would be a good way to go. All of the teachers are really um, supportive with everything that they do, not necessarily even if, you know, for example, Dale, he's my teacher, but other teachers support you as well. So we have support from the photography teachers, we have page layout teachers, stuff like that, so we really do get a lot of support from all different teachers at the campus. I think the benefits of studying a vocational qualification are more hands-on experiences. You can gain uh, knowledge from staff and, and, and other members' experience within the industry. To be a student at NWSLC, it's very good. Like, uh, I like the atmosphere, the lecturers and the students are all on the same level and you have quite a laugh with lecturers as well, so they're always there to help you as well. So my course involves learning and putting into practice varying photographic skills as well as researching and developing my knowledge on photographers and the photographic medium. So we typically use a digital camera and a film camera on our course but we also go on to use other different types of photographic equipment to look at different methods that aren't necessarily lens based methods. To be a student here is amazing because it's so different from school. They're so much more supportive with everything that we do. Choosing a BTEC in performing arts, I wanted to push myself to do something that I wouldn't usually do because I wasn't a very confident child and I just wanted to see what I could do. Campuses are kitted out with industrial spec equipment that enables you to learn in real life working environments. We have a graphic studio, a photography studio, a dark room, music recording studio, workshop studio and so much more. We also have an art shop called Blank Canvases and a new floristry shop called Creative Blooms. Our Hinkley campus has a library and it is a great place to catch up on work and it gives you access to books, ebooks, magazines and DVDs as well as computers, laptops and iPads. All our campuses have student centres or break areas and they are a great place to socialise as well as the rest and relax between classes. This is where you can find the student enrichment teams who can tell you about the clubs, events, trips that run at the college. We offer a wide variety of freshly cooked food, sandwiches, salads and snacks in the canteen. Plus, at our Hinkley campus, we also have a Starbucks. Thank you for watching. I hope I have provided you with all the information you need to know about our Hinkley campus. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon. Bye!